Thanks, guys. Back here in Vegas where the master plan is for Guillermo Rigondeaux to someday be headlining cards, not opening cards. Tonight he opens up against Robert Guillen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Guillen, 32 years old, 122 pounds, 5'3", gives up 4 inches in this fight. He's in the midst of a three-fight comeback after 10 years off. He was away serving time. He has one win, two draws this year. And here is Rigondeau, 28 years old, 5'7", 123, and the Bioblast on the Cuban. He had over 400 amateur fights for this well-skilled little man, a two-time Olympic gold medalist. He fled for freedom twice. First time was in June 07. He was arrested in Brazil, then returned to communist Cuba and told his boxing career was over. This past winter, he pulled it off. He arrived in Miami. He's already made an early career change. He now trains at Freddie Roach's Wild Card Gym in L.A. And his pro debut, it took place amid all the passionate Cuban fans in Miami at the Fountain Blue. It was May 22nd on Friday Night Fights. He had a walk in the park against Juan Noriega, third round TKO. Guillermo's quick to note, he wants it all and wants it now. My, uh, my career is going to move fast. I think after seven or eight fights, six, seven or eight fights, I should be fighting for a world title. Right now I'm training with Alfredo Roach. To achieve what I'm looking for to become a world title, I have to move out of uh, Miami. You know, Miami is like uh, Cuba, except that it's more developed. Um, all the champions are training here in LA, in Las Vegas, and I want to be a champion, so I move here. Rigan Dial made the move to the West Coast, and we'll see how it pays off for him. Freddie Roach is with Amir Khan over in England for a title fight, so Jesse Reed and Jesse Reed Jr. manning the corner, representing the wild card gym for Rigondeau. They are scheduled for four, and Kenny Bayless is the ref. As we know, the rules in the dressing room, I want to caution you to keep the fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Bruno Suarte, touch gloves. Let's go, baby. Let's go, brother. Guillen is here as an opponent at the age of 32 years old. He only fought three weeks ago, Joe, but that's very deceiving. You go back three fights, he was off a career, nine and a half years. And before that, he was off one year and 10 months. And just before that, he was also off one year and four months. Rigan Dial, the high, highly recruited, highly uh, thought of prospect is a southpaw. And he's a counterpuncher, Joe, make no doubt about it. He will wait, he's patient. He doesn't like to lead. He has good eyes, good reflexes. He likes for you to come to him and help him. Make a little bit of a mistake. And then as I said in the open, he'll spit it back at you. Rigan Diaw won Olympic gold in 2000 and 2004. You can get rounds with Rigan Diaw if you know what you're doing. You know, you can BS him a little bit. You can navigate him a little bit. You can feign him. You can move to the sides, keep it on the outside. If you don't force him to fight quite often, there won't be a fight. And then you get maybe a little bit of a chance to hustle later on. Maybe steal portions of the round. That is there. a slip there. There was a sharp shooting left hand from Rigondeau earlier that was impressive. That was a slip. You probably love Rigan Diaw at the kitchen table, at the dining room table, because at least our parents would. You know how our parents were? They, they didn't want you to waste anything, you know, Joe? Rigan Diaw, he doesn't waste anything. He's not going to throw something unless he's pretty sure it's going to land. Left hand to the body. And again, you can see Rigan Diaw does a good job of controlling range. He wants to be at a range where you're forced to come to him and make a mistake. And if you're gonna be a good counter puncher, if you're gonna be a guy who depends on your opponent's offensive mistakes, what's that mean, Joe? Well, you means, you know, you have to get good reflexes, good eyesight, but you have to have a good defense. Because for the most part, that's gonna create your offense, making the guy miss, and then coming back. One of the many traits he possesses Easily making Guillen miss there, and that sweeping right hand that was well off the mark as Rigondeau got back to safety. 
Guillen has had two draws in his last two fights. He's been a smaller man, Guillen. His first five fights were between 110 and 112 pounds. Regan Diao, he turned pro at 122, and he's 123 tonight. See what I'm talking about there with Regan Diao? Doesn't take many chances. Not going to lead to you for the most part. And that's what I like to see him improve and work on, as I said in the top. And there's has a good counter punch as he steps back and creates a little gap. Unbelievable skill out of Rigondeau. Stepped back and the counter punch scores a knockout win. Laser-like accuracy from the gold medalist. But Rigondeau is very calm. And that's one of his great assets. Don't think being calm is not as good an asset as anything physical. He can see things well. Like First round shot. knockout by Guillermo Rigondeau, his second career fight after that much-anticipated, well-hyped pro debut back in Miami. He comes west, now under the tutelage of the new crew at Wild Card, and he shines here against an overmatched opponent. And even here in Vegas, the chance of Cuba Cuba seems to be a body shot. And again, just as we said, Rigondeau doesn't lead he waits for his opponent to play into his hands and that's exactly what Guion did and you see right there perfectly placed just finished talking about that Regan Diaz doesn't want to waste anything well he didn't waste anything one punch does the job Guion re reaches in a little bit we'll take another look right here the opponent reaches in a little bit a little bit of a Set up there by Regan Diao. Drops that left hand right to the body. Beautiful shot by Regan Diao. Teddy, that's one of those rare moments that's so special in this sport that we talk about that button. That if you hit that perfectly placed target right there on the body, on the flank. And what does it take to do that? You know, it's not just luck. It's not just that he got fortunate and that the stars lined up well. He's very calm. He has good eyes. He has good reflexes. He has a good temperament. And he knows exactly what his identity is. His identity is to take advantage of his opponent's reckless aggression. His opponent reached in a little bit, he stepped back, created a hole, and he filled that hole. Let's get the official particulars with Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kenny Bayless. Two minutes, 57 seconds of the first round. The winner by knockout victory, Guillermo El Chico only the beginning he says he wants his career to move fast feels that after seven or eight fights he should be fighting for a world title we'll see if that becomes a reality for now this is the harsh reality for robert guillen a piercing body shot sends him to the canvas crumbling and a first round knockout for guillermo rigandial let's send it back to the studio and bk